I've been neglectful of Rust to Max. I haven't been playing in a while because I've just been so busy with other stuff. So welcome guys, welcome back. And today is December the 2nd, I believe. So if you guys are gonna buy the gold pass, if you haven't done it already, don't forget to use code Klaus. You can input that code by going into your shop and hitting that little white C at the top right hand side of your screen and then input code Klaus or anybody's code. Just make sure you use somebody's code. It is it is Supercell's way of allowing the, the viewership and uh the you know the 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 average player uh it gives them a way to to tip the person that they choose to with their purchase because a small percentage of that purchase goes to that person so choose choose somebody and bless them with your december gold pass or any of these like cyber special deals or or whatever you got going on so anyway let's go in and smack some bases guys uh rush to max has been neglected as i've said so it is time to smack and destroy now you might be thinking klaus is it cold i mean you're wearing a sweater inside yes it's cold it's been cold and i have no heating in my office because it's it's i'm in texas i didn't think i needed heating but apparently i do need heating so yeah consider that consider that just my random rant of the day <laughs> now i realized i skipped some pretty good bases but i found something that i really like his name is popcorn and it's the super noobs clan and it's even better than a triple seven it's a seven eight seven i mean this is like an amazing base to find it is not a dead base however so we do have uh, a very high possibility that it won't get tripled however i'm i'm totally okay with that so let's go in i'm gonna attack from the bottom left J i don't even know why there's really no reason uh i'm just doing it for fun so let's drop a uh, several hastes we got to get that going and pop the warden's ability before the eagle shots come down uh i'm gonna rage into the core a couple of times i've also got a poison spell you know what i've got a quake i might as well drop a quake in the core as well and i've got a poison I don't even know what I'm going to use the poison for, to be completely honest with you. Uh, oh, we had a tornado trap in the core. Blast. Blast, bro. Blast. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Yes, go down. Go down, royal champion. You are dead. I told you. All right, stop a rage into the core because we have some CC troops coming through there. Unfortunately, we didn't get that scatter shot. That's really a bummer. Uh, let's get the royal champion coming down through there. And I'm also going to want, because I I clearly just prioritized Elixir, right? I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I prioritized Elixir. So what we're hoping for, guys, is that, oh boy. Okay, so the, okay, I've got to choose something. I've got to choose, because I've got to get the one star. I've got the win, but I have to choose whether or not I want to try to take out the town hall with the queen. Because I've already gotten the Dark Elixir storage. I could either get like Dark Elixir drills, or I could go with the town hall. I'm actually thinking about getting the drills you know what let's put the queen down right here she should at least get one it'd be kind of cool if she turned and got the other and is that it i mean unless i'm mistaken and yeah we already got the dark elixir storage i feel like five thousand dark elixir sitting in a drill was or two drills was a lot but apparently not i mean this was a seven seven thousand dark elixir and it looks like she will go to the left oh she will nice look at that yes oh that was the perfect decision we got a lot of gold and we actually got almost all the dark elixir look at that 137 sitting in that town hall it would not have been worth it because it would have killed me or gotten me very close to dead and then i wouldn't have gotten all that dark so that was perfect guys that worked out perfectly 800,000 elixir 7700 dark elixir and we got a little, little bit of gold so i mean it all worked out um i can't believe the queen actually went where i wanted her to go i think i can count on one hand how many times that's actually happened so that's really exciting um and let's see if anybody wants to donate some clan castle troops in the meantime is there anything i can do i mean i can look at something okay so i wanted to actually look at the lab because again elixir would be kind of a big deal i know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do some queen charges so i'm considering trying to upgrade the uh the uh what's that called the healer again but the issue is there's a lot of good options and this is rush to max. So some things are like super cheap. There you go. Juicy. Thank you for the balloons, bro. You're the best. I love you. All right. So there you go. I got some balloons and a rage and a stone slammer. So dudes, we are good to go. <laughs> Let's try to find another one. This is ooh, another one. Yes. First search challenge, right? Let's go. Let's go. I know it's not a lot of gold, but I'm clearly not prioritizing gold. So let's go in. Let's go in um, real hard in the paint here. Let's get the Stone Slammer and the Warden. I'm going to drop some hay spells. There's a scatter shot doing some stuff. I'm going to poison over this, uh, this Eagle and Rage over the Eagle. Pop the Warden's ability there as well. And uh, poison over the Queen. All right. I've got a Rage over the um, Electro Dragon because I'm hoping that the flipping 
uh, minions will show up and actually do something worth doing, but apparently not. They're gonna, they're all busy focusing on the flipping king because he's a really big threat to my air attack. Bloody heck. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to use my heroes. Okay, so let's see. Um, to get to the dark elixir storage, um, here, here. Okay, okay. So king, I'm gonna use you to get that drill or that those two drills there. That eagle really ruined everything, to be honest. And my my flipping minions are dumb. <laughs> That's just simply what it is. They are lacking in basic intelligence, and that is why they 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 really messed me up. Um, let's see. Okay, Royal Champion, you go over there, and then I'm gonna send the Queen basically right at the Dark Elixir, uh, storage, because that's, that's what I'm gonna try to prioritize here. So, there goes that. Oh, and there's balloons in the Clan Castle? Really? Okay, well, if I drop that here, maybe the Queen will prioritize the Eagle. Okay, so she's gonna get the storage. There you go. I'm gonna pop her ability. She's gonna get the, the Electro Dragon, and then, of course, the, uh, the balloons. Come on, come on. Did I say Eagle? I don't even know. Eagle or Electro Dragon, they both kind of feel the same, rolling off the tongue. And I think I missed a drill. Did I miss a drill? Uh, I don't think I missed a drill. I think that, that Dark Elixir, that 900 that was left over, was actually in the Town Hall. Okay, well, there you go. So we got a lot of Dark Elixir in both of those raids. Super easy and quick. Love it. And I like the, I like the efficiency. And now let's spend some... Oh, I didn't use my last haste. How'd that happen? Anyway, so let's go to the progress base, guys, and do some good stuff. Now, first things first, once again, the laboratory. So I can't quite do the healer. I mean, I'm only 800,000 under. I could potentially get some free elixir coming up. No, we're like far away. Okay. So if I wanted to upgrade the healer, I'm going to have to get some more, but I feel like doing something right now. So what are we going to do? I could do the lightning spell because i you know that's just one of those things you use a lot we've already maxed the freeze that's another one that i thought of dark elixir let's see how much dark elixir we'll have after the next upgrade let's see world champions 222 queen is 138 king is 130 okay so it looks like we're going to upgrade the queen again if we can and we can obviously so if i upgrade the queen it's 138 which means we're going to have like 30,000 or so left over that's not much so definitely want to spend the elixir in the lab unless i find something i want to upgrade that's cheap like, um, I don't even know, dude. It's like, like the hogs, right? I haven't upgraded the hogs once. That is nuts. That is gnarly, bro. How, how does that, how is that possible for me to go this far into this series and not upgrade the hogs once? Dude, I have to rectify this problem. <laughs> I have to fix this. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, I'm going to upgrade these hogs right now. Level two, 10 hour upgrades. I mean, they'll literally be done around bedtime for me. Bam. There you go. Welcome to the team, level two hog riders. They're not double the strength, but they are stronger, and that's good. So let's upgrade the queen now, 138,000 dark elixir. This one's a no-brainer. There you go. Let's see what the warden upgrade is going to cost me. 9.5 million. My goodness, why are all these so dang close? Is there anything I can do? I'm going to have a stone slammer. I could actually get a stone slammer and uh, a... Uh, oh, I got some free gold. There you go. Oh, you know what? I could buy some elixir. I'm gonna buy some elixir and then I'm gonna upgrade the warden. Yeah, level 28. That's awesome. The more hero upgrades, the better, always and forever, right? So let's come in now. And uh, are there any good elixir upgrades? Spell factory. We could actually upgrade the spell factory again because of the update. I never realized that I have another upgrade over here. Do I need to, do I need to like double check everything else too? No. Okay. So the barracks are good. Dark drills good. The storage is good uh, that would be really bad if i needed to upgrade all these again that'd be like terrible workshop no we're good there clan castle no we're good there and then dark spell factory doesn't get an upgrade either okay just wanted to make sure i do want to upgrade the spell factory but i didn't realize it was there so i don't have the elixir now for it so let's continue work on these here traps and all these are level five these are all level two and those are all level two. These are all level three. Oh, okay. We got some level threes and level two. So that's clearly what I was focusing on last time. So let's do a couple of these and then spend the rest of our loot basically on walls. So um, this is going to be quite a bit of gold. Five millions. That's easy money, dude. It's easy decision to make. And then this, how much are these? Oh, these are cheap. Half a million. Okay. So that means that I get to do two more with gold. And I can actually do 
uh, to more of the elixir too, because I don't have to have elixir anymore for armies. That's a weird thing for me to get used to. I know it's been a while since that update went live, but I'm still having a hard time getting used to that. 500,000 gold. Bam. There you go. Let's get caught up, guys. Let's keep going. Rush to Max has a lot of work to do. I've got years of work to do on this account. It's bad. Uh, but at least I got some really big hero upgrades going and a huge, massive lab upgrade. <laughs> Getting those hogs going to level two. Finally. Gosh. How could I let this happen? How, how, I mean, literally, how? I don't get it at all <laughs> anyway guys that's gonna be it for me today in this episode real quick rush to max here actually i don't even know if it's a short video or not it just feels like feels like it's short maybe it isn't i don't know hope you have a great day thanks for tuning in don't forget to use code klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game gold pass or packs or whatever oh and also i'm about to start a new uh minecraft series on my second channel klaus plays check it out the links in the description talk to you guys next time